If you want to debadge your car, don't do it that way. We're going to go over the proper way to do it. So you want to debadge the car. You want to make it look a little bit cleaner, maybe a little sleeker. You don't want people to know what you have. I mean, if you had a Chrysler Sebring, I don't blame you. I wouldn't want it either. So I'll show you a couple different methods on how to get these off. Typically, there's a couple ways that emblems are held onto your car. The letters are mostly adhesived on, and then sometimes the bigger emblems actually have pins that hold it on. If you're replacing these letters, if they weren't looking good, if they're faded or something, you could always put tape down as a reference so that when you go to put the new ones down, that you could get it lined up exactly the way it was. But if you're just taking them off, you don't necessarily need that unless you feel like you're gonna scratch the paint or something. To start, we'll start out with some plastic tools. If you just get in the corner of one of the letters, just underneath, just be careful. And make sure they're plastic. You don't want metal tools. You don't want to use razor blades or anything. Just get underneath here and just gently pry it up. This is probably one of the easiest ways to do this. You could even twist it back and forth a little bit. Just careful not to pry up and twist it. Because you don't want to scratch the paint. Peel that off. And then you have some adhesive there. Peel that. As much as you can peel off, the better. To make it a little easier, you can use a combination of a heat gun and the tool. So just heat up. Heat up the letter, but you want to make sure you're not standing still for too long. Because if you heat it up too much, you're going to burn through the paint. Seems like it moves a lot easier. Yeah, it's like butter now. So that's slightly easier. Next we're going to try fishing line. You could also use dental floss if you don't have fishing line. I don't prefer this method, but sometimes it does work. You just get in behind here and just slide it off. It works pretty good on smaller letters. It slides off. So. It's actually just cutting the adhesive, so there's a thicker layer of adhesive, whereas the other methods we use, it doesn't cut it, so. Now I'm gonna to try to take this emblem off. We'll use the fishing line, because it seems like it's working pretty good there, but we'll notice if there's any pins in this holding this on. So we got about halfway down to here, and now I'm just gonna use the trim tool. Just try to pry this off. Try not to break it. And if I heat this up a little bit, I'll make it a little easier. And it came right off. Another method you could try that's not as popular is taking some adhesive remover and trying to soak the letter down. Let it sit for a while, but you're gonna have to let it sit for a long time before it even does anything. And then once that happens, then you're still gonna have to go back and peel it off. Didn't work too bad.
Yeah, it comes off pretty easy. <laughs> so now that we got all the letters off and the emblem, we have this adhesive that we have to get off. Now, again, you can use the adhesive remover and just try to soak it. You could put this in a spray bottle and just spray it. Let it soak. Probably let it soak for a couple hours. And you can go back with the trim tool and just lightly scrape it off. You're still gonna have some adhesive underneath there. So you use a little more adhesive remover. Let it soak. And when you're doing it this way, don't put in a lot of elbow grease. Just do it nice and lightly. Otherwise, you're going to scratch the paint. So don't do that. It's all gone. It looks good. And then we can also use the heat gun. You just got to move it around a lot. And you don't want to get it too hot. You're going to end up melting your uh, trim tool. could also burn the paint, which you don't want to do. But the way I do it is with a pinstripe remover disc or a decal remover wheel, just like this, and you put it on a drill bit. And you just got to make sure you move it around a lot. It's just like an eraser. You're still gonna have to use a little adhesive remover, but this works really well. So that takes most of it off, and then you do have to use some adhesive remover for the small stuff. You just let it soak a little bit. It works pretty good. On this vehicle, when you take the emblem off, everything's pretty flat, so it looks pretty nice. Whereas if you look at this car, where it's recessed a little bit, if you take the emblem off, it's not gonna look as clean as that car. All right, so that looks pretty good. We got almost everything off. I just gotta do a little bit more. But at this point, because you used so much adhesive remover, you took the wax right off of here. And if you had a little bit of scratches, you wanna use some buffing compound, try to get some of those little scratches out. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If I missed anything or you have any other ideas, leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching.